to the show. Thank you for joining me on the Doug Stewart Show. Have you become a premium member? You should. Go to the DougStewartShow.com. Become a premium member, man, and hear episodes of the Doug Stewart Show. Full episodes of the Doug Stewart Show, man, uh, which we air live Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, as well as episodes of Chop It Up. Uh, so go to the DougStewartShow.com and become a member. Obama, Obama leaving office, man. <laughs> wow, Obama's leaving office. Um, today's date is January 20th, 2016. And um, let's see, celebrating a birthday today is Bill Maher. Bill Maher hosts like a... Uh, like one of those late night type TV shows on HBO, I think. He turned 60 years old, as well as um, as Ron Harper, former NBA guard, played for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, he played many years for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Remember they always used to say Ron Harper was a poor man's Michael Jordan. Uh, fantastic player uh, in relative terms. Uh, but Ron Harper celebrates the birthday today as well. And that's it, man. Those are all of the birthdays we had. No need to get into all of the theatrics and everything like that. So happy birthday to Ron Harper and to Bill Maher. Uh, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStrewShow.com. Looking at all you uh, your messages in the chat room uh, concerning Obama leaving office. It's actually a pretty sad day, if you ask me, man. Let me go ahead and grab a call. Caller, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where are you calling from? What you want to talk about? Hey, this is Big Apple Bastard, man. I'm calling from D.C. Oh, Got man. Hold on. on. D.C. traffic. The, 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 big, uh, the big Big Apple Bastard. Good morning, Big Apple Bastard. How you doing, sir? I'm fine, sir. I love my name. You make, you make fun of my name, man. I love my name. Okay. Big Apple Bastard. So you're in D.C. You're in D.C. for the inauguration. What's what's up? That don't sound like no, you. Sir, no, sir. I'm, I'm driving through. I'm, I'm on my way to New Jersey. Okay. I'm handling some business. Right. Yeah, it's a ghost town, Doug. Oh yeah. It's a ghost town. Yeah. Usually, usually to get through D.C. You got to come early in the morning. Uh huh. Well, here now it's, it's almost eleven o'clock. The place is a ghost town. I ain't never seen D.C. like this. Man. So it's a ghost town. So do you think that uh, everybody's at the inauguration, or do you think that people are staying away and just staying? Away from the inauguration. What do you think? People are staying away. The media being disingenuous with what's going on with Trump. Because, you know, Hillary outscored, outvoted. Um, she had more, more than three million um, votes. Right, than, yeah. And um, Donald Trump, you know. So they, it's clearly it's a protest in the inauguration. Yeah. But, Doug, um, before I give you my football pick. Hold on, hold on, got, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me, let me load up here, man. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, before I give you my football pick, uh-huh. I got a trade I'm in here. I got, I just, I just got the phone with my uncle. Okay, and he's telling me the Knicks are going to trade Carmelo Anthony. Uh huh. We big time Knicks fans. Right. My uncle, he on a juke joint, in Cleveland, but that's that's another story. <laughs> um, <laughs> he said. Oh, and we didn't mean to shoot him off. We didn't mean to shoot him off. Big Apple, we apologize, bro. Call back to the show. Uh, the, 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 the trigger, uh, it's, it's a hairpin trigger, man. I, we didn't mean to shoot you off, bro. Wait a minute. I'm hearing that he had a vest on. I'm hearing he had a vest on. Call the show back, Big Apple Bastard. I'm telling you, we were, we didn't mean to do that. It's got a hairpin trigger, and I put my finger on the trigger, and we shot you off. I hopefully you survived. You can call the show back. We'll get you right on. We apologize. Sir, seriously, <laughs> damn! I didn't even mean to shoot the man, and we shot the man. Seriously, Big Apple, call back to the show if you can, man. Four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. He's not even calling back, man. I feel bad. The one time I did mean to shoot the Big Apple Bastard, I shot the Big Apple Bastard. Yeah, yeah. All right, so a couple little NFL stories out there. 
Adrian Peterson says that he wants to stay in Minnesota, uh, but he would consider a couple of other teams. Oh, looks like we got the Big Apple Bastard back. Is this the Big Apple Bastard? Yes, sir, the Big Apple Bastard. Hey, Big Apple Bastard, I got to apologize to you, bro, man. As, as, as ornery as our relationship is and has been over the last couple of years, I truly didn't mean to shoot you just now, bro. All right, no problem. No problem. No problem. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But before you get back, before you get back to your point that you were trying to make, go ahead, sir. Yes. Uh, my uncle said the New York Knicks are going to trade Carmelo Anthony uh-huh. to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Kyle Corver and Kevin Love. That's right. Phil Jackson going to have the Knicks looking like the Utah Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. So that's what's, white that, team. that's what's going to happen. A whole bunch of white boys the triangle. Right. A whole bunch of white boys run the triangle in New York. Right. Um, so how do you feel about last, that? How do you feel about that? I mean, it's sickening, man. Right. It, it, it's a disgrace. You know, Phil Jackson, he's a terrible. He's a, like in Charles, the Charles Barkley voice. He's terrible. <laughs> right. As, as a general manager, man. I mean, it's just sickening, man. But before I go, before I go Doug, uh-huh. let me give you my football predictions. I got Pittsburgh. Going to New England and winning 27 26. Okay. Now, uncock, uncock your gun when I give you the score right here. Okay. For the Falcon uh, Packer game. Go ahead. Uncock your gun now. Uh huh. I got, I got the score being 61 27. <laughs> Who? Green Bay Packers. Going to blow the door foul with the ball. And I'm going to. Man, it says 61 to 7. <laughs> oh, man. But that actually went better than I thought, man. Thank you for the call, Big Apple Bastard. I guess. I guess. That man said the Falcons going to lose 61 to 7. And he said Phil Jackson going to have the New York Knicks looking like the 1983 Boston Celtics. That's funny. Hey, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Show.com. So I think Big Apple Bass is a truck driver. And so, you know, I'm pretty sure he's probably had that route through D.C. a thousand times. And he's saying that, um, that everybody's staying away from the inauguration. That would be a beautiful thing. I'm not going to watch, as I said at the top of the show, and I'm going to get back to this Adrian Peterson story here in a second and read more of your chat messages in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Like, I refuse to watch any news. Like, I've been watching the news real heavy, um, much more than I normally do over the last six months all dealing with this this election. And like I said yesterday, I think a lot of it has to do or affected my blood pressure. Um, but I've been watching the news real heavy, you know, just kind of be abreast of the issues and 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 once again, as I said in the video I did a couple of days ago, like we're all just, you know, casual uh, political observers, you know. That's why it's so ridiculous to have Steve Harvey and comedians and people that have no clue of the issues. But we're all just casual observers of politics and, and what's going on, man. But the last six months, I've been hot and heavy into CNN. Like, my TV has stayed on CNN. Like, I'm flipping back and forth between CNN and ESPN. That's pretty much all I've been doing. I'd be damned if I turn my TV on CNN today. It ain't going to happen. I don't want to see none of that. And somebody said in the chat room, that's not how ratings work. And I know ratings, you know, you have to have one of those boxes, one of those Nielsen boxes or whatever. Um, but I don't care. It's the principle of, of the matter, you know. Yeah, I don't have a, a ratings box in my house, so it doesn't even matter one way or the other. But I'd be damned if I put one eye on that damn inauguration today. Let me grab another call. Call it. Thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? Doug Stewart, T-Dub, what's happening, brother? T-Dub from Virginia. What's up, baby? How you doing, T-Dub? I'm doing well, my man. I'm cognacking out today. You know, I had to call in. You know how we do. T-Dub, T-Dub, let me, let, me, let me just first say, and I don't think we've had you on the air since your trip to Dallas, man. Um, uh, sympathies for you and your Dallas Cowboys, bro. Hey, man. Let me tell you something. I sat in that stand, man. I cried, man. I, you know, I used to look at people, man, when they cried at a football game. Oh, right, what the hell are these bastards crying for? <laughs> hey, when I went to that game, I understood, Jack. When that field goal went through, it was like Tiger Woods out there at peace. 
Wow. Getting chased by his wife. Wow. Man, I was broken hearted, brother. Yo, yo when, the, when, when the pass was completed to Jared Cook, like, what was your instant reaction when that pass was completed and then ultimately they kicked the field goal to win the game? What, what were you thinking, man? I threw it on that damn $10 beat. <laughs> I, I threw it on the floor. Uh, wow. Wow. Hey, right, what you got for us, T-Dub? Hey, man, I just wanted to call in, man, because I never have. I wanted to give a shout-out to you, man, because, again, I said to you on social media, you were speaking out, you was talking about the Donald Trump situation. Right. And you really voiced – you really express the opinions of what we feel right. and we never have a voice to say so and you do. Right. And a lot of times there's a, a lot of built up stress and you can't say what you want. You can't express yourself how you want to. And to be able to hear you say that, man, I just want to thank you. I got a partner of mine. I'm, I'm sorry, but I got a partner of mine. I just came out of New Jersey, uh, up in Atlantic city. Right. Uh, ex Navy buddy of mine. And I just want, he's been listening to the show all morning, man. I just want to give a shout out to you, man, and say, Hey, look, Keep doing your thing, big brother. Appreciate you, man. That's my man T-Dub, man, from Virginia. Appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. I had a uh, quick little story, man. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, and I'm not going to say his name. And I appreciate that, T-Dub. If you're new to the show, T-Dub, um, he, uh, he's a big Dallas Cowboy fan. He went to the Cowboys game. If you didn't know the whole backstory from the little conversation we had, he went to the Cowboys game last week uh, from Virginia, so that cost him a couple of dollars, I'm sure. And uh, he's like one of the biggest Cowboy fans I know. But I had a dude, man, love him to death. And the little video I posted about, you know, the Steve Harvey thing, you know, he emailed me and, and said, man, I want to talk to you about this. And so he called me, and this is somebody like like a brother of mine. And he started talking to me, and the crux of his conversation, man, is, like, I shouldn't even waste my time making videos like that and going on record, you know, talking down about Donald Trump because of how it will affect my pocket. And he made a lot of valid points, man, but at the end of the day, I said to him, I was like, 